everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about studying film and television at university because it is a big decision for a lot of creative young people out there, whether they want to go to university to study film. And as I myself study a television production course, I thought that I could offer you some advice if you're hoping to do the same. In this video, I am going to cover if you actually need to study a degree to get a good career in film, what courses and what universities you should be looking out for and how to find the right course for you and how to make yourself stand out in the crowd and ways to get your name out there. <coughs> and a hobnob stuck in my throat. I wanted to start the video by addressing the elephant in the room which is the assumption that you don't actually need a degree in film or television to have a good career in film and television and that is 100% true. Some people can go straight from school or A-levels or college into a trainee role or a placement or an internship with a really good media company and that can be their career starter point. And other people go to university, get a degree, um, spend three or four years of their life and a lot of money on a degree and end up applying for the same positions that you could apply for straight out of school or straight out of college. The thing to bear in mind is that whether or not you go to university, we're all going to start at the same position. We're all going to start off as runners, interns, unpaid work experience people, junior researchers. It's just the way it is with this industry unless you are insanely talented. So really, the decision whether or not you go to university to study film and television is completely up to you. And I'm going to tell you a couple of the pros and cons about university and about university life and why you should or should not decide to go to university based on your own personality and your own career aspirations. So a little bit about me just to contextualise this. I am a second year BA television production student studying in Bournemouth and I'm absolutely loving it. I had to fight for my place here. I got rejected straight after my A-levels with an A star and two Bs and I I knew I wanted to come to Bournemouth so I went off and I did a foundation diploma in art and design which I got a distinction in which really got my creative juices flowing and helped me to see that this is what I want to do. I got accepted after that with an unconditional offer which is fantastic and I came over and I started my degree in media production. I hated it. It was so stressful, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to work in television and film. I didn't want to be making websites, I didn't want to be making radio broadcasts. So I had to swap courses, which was a lot of stress and a lot of worry. But now I'm happily studying television production and I couldn't be happier because the course is exactly what I wanted to study. If you're passionate about film and television, you need to research, research the courses that appeal to you. Take it from me, there's nothing worse than arriving at university in a new town all excited about the course and spending the first year hating it and having to swap. So do the research up front, make sure that you know exactly what the course is before you go into it so that you don't have any hard decisions to make when you arrive. The best way to do this, I know your teachers or careers advisors are probably talking about this so much, is the UCAS website. It has a lot of courses listed on it. 99.9% .9 of the courses in fact and if you type in film and television it will bring up all the information that you need related to those courses in every institution across the UK. It's something that I didn't do enough of even though I had the first year to research and the second year to research. I didn't research it enough and that's where I made my mistake. Don't get lured in by the descriptions on the university websites or in the brochures because sometimes they can egg the course up to be something. Look at its reputation, look at reviews from current students, look at the ratio of theory to practical work because that is so important as well. University is not just about the degree that you study, I have to say that as well. People who go straight into the media industry, entry level job in TV or film, miss out on three years of fantastic life experience. For me, university is a chance to grow up. <laughs> I came to university when I was 19 years old, fresh out of college, still a naive teenager and since then I've grown so much, I've had so much life experience, I've been through some terribly hard times and that is to be expected with university. You get to learn how to pay bills for the first time, you have to move into a house, you have to manage your money, you have to survive and it will really stretch you. But it's nice to push yourself, it's nice to do something if you have the opportunity to go to film school or university. Do something that's going to really push you creatively, something that's going to make you work hard and balance a social life with. 
and all the finance that comes along with it. Now on to some of the downsides to university, which are many. As I said, the course might not be everything it's cracked out to be. But if that's the case, you can change. You can change courses. It's never too late. You can transfer universities, you can transfer courses within the same university, and you're paying so much money to be there between fees and accommodation costs and food costs and emotional costs. You are paying to be there so you should be honest with yourself. If you're not happy there, do something about it. Sometimes problems can come up while you're at university like relationships, issues with yourself, you feel like you can't cope with all the stress or the work, but universities always have support available for you. So if you're worried about going off to a strange place by yourself and not being able to make friends, don't worry about that at all. I was so socially awkward before I came to university and it's honestly made me into such an outgoing person and such a more confident person and I feel so grateful for that. The first few weeks can be crazy but it's so worth it. You might be worried about the debt that you're going to have. I was worried about that too until I realised that I'm probably not really ever going to pay it back. So, if you've applied to university and you've gotten accepted, that's amazing, well done. Make sure that you make the correct choice on the course on the university for you. It's not anyone else's decision, it is completely up to you and it is your decision to live with for three or four years. So make the right one, no pressure. Now I want to how to make yourself stand out. This is really important, especially when you're applying for universities. If you're applying for a film or TV course, it's important that you have a YouTube channel or a blog or some kind of social media space that showcases your work and your personality. Also, it's just cool to work on stuff outside of school and outside of college, like a YouTube channel. I love my YouTube channel and it's a really nice escape, especially if you go to university. It's something that you can continue to work on while you're there. The next thing that I'm gonna suggest that you set up is a LinkedIn account, because LinkedIn is a really good professional social media and networking site which allows you to upload your CV, all the projects that you've worked on, photos from any productions that you've worked on and it's a really really good place to meet industry contacts or if you have any specific strengths for example I put camera operation onto my LinkedIn and other people who come across your LinkedIn profile can like thumbs up on those skills so that people can see oh this person's really good at camera operation maybe I want them for my internship maybe I want them on my company I really recommend that you set it up similarly there is a new social media website for creative people and industry contacts called Hive and it's a fantastic and it's really like cool and quirky and it's different to LinkedIn because it's full of young people and younger people who are coming into the industry. I recently went to a Channel 4 pop-up day in Bournemouth which was fantastic um, and they set it all up through Hive so if you want to stay up to date with opportunities in your local area or at the university that you're going to go to check out Hive link in the description box as well set up a profile that can be friends and of course I think if you want to get into film and TV particularly, a showreel is important. Even though some of the universities might not even want a showreel, it's cool to have one to show people and to look at what you've created so far and say, okay, I'm good at this or I'm not so good at this or whoa, I really don't have anything to show for a passion in film and TV. Passion is the most important thing. Passion is what will keep you seeing throughout your time at university and what will drive you to create cooler, more inspiring, better projects. So that is my advice for you if you want to go into film and TV at university. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. Good luck if you're going to university and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.